Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Zhang. Welcome back. Uh, this is the part two of the talk, Treating COVID Based on Its Physiology and Pathology. In the last talk, we have gone through how to treat lung COVID by suppressing the immune system and reduce inflammation. In this video, we will follow up with the rest of uh, treatment. Um, the first one we talked about antioxidation. Look at this uh, diagram and look at the consequence of inflammation. Uh, this consequence is complex, including organ dysfunction and cell death. These cell deaths are partially caused by oxidative stress, uh, by oxygen free radicals. The cells in the area of inflammation are affected by a very high level of oxygen free radicals, and they cause cellular collateral damage and cell death. Cells in the environment of inflammation die in two ways, necrosis and apoptosis. Necrosis is caused by direct kill by cytokines, uh, even complements. In this aspect, I think that uh, antioxidants in combination with about treatment should be effective. Uh, this including vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene. These vitamins bind to oxygen free radicals and neutralize them. Due to low toxicity, these, com these compounds can be used together. The second mechanism of cell death is apoptosis. The apoptosis is also known as cell suicide. It is a mitochondrial process. So recent studies show that a significant mitochondrial dysfunction in organs affected by long COVID most likely we are dealing with very high oxidative stress inside the mitochondria. So by the way, mitochondria is the area I did research for 10 years. Uh, we are looking at uh, antioxidants that can penetrate the mitochondrial membrane. Uh, there's several of them. Uh, two of them are coenzyme Q10 and the ubiquinol. I would use these two vitamins together with vitamin C, E, and the beta carotene. The next important factor is the blood clots. We have learned from treating COVID patients in acute phase, blood clots are a very common complication. It can happen anywhere, and normally it happens in the extremities, we call it a DVT, or in the lungs, we call it pulmonary emboli. It appears that it is due to the activation of a complement cascade. So in this figure, uh, we can see that the complements are activated by the immune complex, which is a virus combined to the antibodies. The final products of the complement activation can kill bacteria or pathogens, or they can kill foreign cells. It also can stimulate the immune cells to produce and release cytokines, cause inflammation. The third function is rarely mentioned is activated thrombin. It's achieved by the C5A, which are listed in the figure. Thrombin activation leads to clotting of red cells, uh, sometimes we call the red blood clots. In the microenvironment of organs, they can block oxygen and energy supply, cause cell death and organ dysfunction. Another kind of clots are so-called white clots. In this scenario, the plates are activated by the tissue organs and uh, form clusters. Uh, inflammation does this. If it happens in the large arteries, such as aorta or neck carotid artery, they cause stroke. In the heart, they can cause increased size in the coronary plaque size, causing heart attack. In the microenvironment, these white clouds can cause organ dysfunction and cell death by lacking oxygen and nutrients. So normally how they are treated clinically, white clouds can be blocked by antiplatelets such as aspirin and plavix. Red clouds are normally treated by blood thinners such as warfarin, we call it comodin, and heparin, and a newer uh, medicine such as adequis and Zorato and the Prodexa. Do we need all these blood thinners and antiplacelets? Probably not. There's a natural compound that can have both effect on platelets and thrombin. Uh, Ginkgo biloba is a one of the compounds. 
It may not be very strong as aspirin plus blood thinners, but it may be sufficient. Uh, to be honest with you, I do not know how strong these effects are, but it may just be enough in this situation. To conclude our talk, so long COVID treatment should require a comprehensive approach. It should include the following components, immunosuppression and uh, targeting inflammation, uh, antioxidants in both cellular and mitochondrial levels, and uh, treat clotting. I want to say this again, please consult your doctor before you start any treatment. You can share this video with your doctor. It is important to know that we do not know enough about uh, uh, the herbal compounds. We do not know the interaction between them. And most importantly, if you are taking any prescription medications, we do not know how they interact with them. This concludes the whole part of the talk. Uh, thank you for listening.